Peace fam, I'm coming back from the future to wish you a great Kumba. I'm bringing the chlor, the chlor, chlor oxygen. I'm bringing the body butter that I'm experimenting with right now. I'm bringing the coconut oil and the palm seed oil. And of course, the world famous black seed oil with me. All right, we're coming back to let you know. Great Kaumba. And we're going to be talking today. So make sure you get your glass so that you can do the toast. This is Brother Hatim and I'm Bring them out, 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 bring them out. All right, family, we about to do our daily toast. We want to welcome everybody that's here now and those that will tune in later. <clears throat> All right, so I got my babies with me. Uh, we got Gina, we got Miss Gina G and Miss Sasha Mosh. Right, gonna wave. Look, the camera going dark again. Just wave That's at them. Crazy. Right? You got to wave at both cameras because we got Facebook Hi. over here and we got YouTube Hi. over there. Hi, All right. YouTube. Gina Hi, and Facebook. Sasha got their own. Well, Gina and Sasha got their own show. It's called the Gina G Project right now. Sasha Moss is working on hers. We just, we can't let her get her own show because she's just a live wire right now. So. <laughs> Seriously, Sasha. Yes, she's a wild, wild, wild flower, and I don't want her to bloom. All my business over the internet. All right, so we're gonna drink our water. So only a little bit. Before I start, that's enough for me. That's enough. We all need water. I always tell you that's why. What happens if you don't have water, food, or shelter, or only a little bit for me? All right, that's a little bit. Here. Alright, y'all gonna drink up drink drink up with us fam. Alright, sure if you have an idea if this camera stop going. Make sure crazy. you get a glass. Yeah, cause one of these glass, not one of those uh, not one of those glasses. You see why she ain't got her own show? You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Alright. So I'm gonna drink one more of these. Finish the water up, little girl. Take some more. Mm -hmm. Can I have a little bit more? Yeah. That's all. That's all, Daddy. I want a lot. Our bodies are electric, and the water allows the electricity to flow through. Or better yet, allow that eye shade to flow through. So, we drink up the water. I've been thirsty, and I've been holding off, trying to wait for the daily toast so that I can make sure I get my water. You know, so, I mean, we got to, we got to, we got to set examples, you know what I'm saying? So You forgot, I got to on your lap. Okay, come on. Wait, hold on. Hold, Umoja, Kuchikakalia, Ujibu, Ujama, Nia. Kumba Imani. 
Wow, Jenny, you just earned yourself another dollar. I'm going to give you a dollar for that. I didn't yeah. know you knew all of them. I don't want any dollars. Look at the decision dollar. Mm-mm. What? It's a real dollar? Yeah, you're getting a real dollar for that. All right. So now, those that know, I am... um. I'm down to my last little bit. This I got about maybe two more days of Daddy, the black seed. Excuse me. I got about two more days of the black seed oil, right? So um, I'm transitioning from the black seed oil to what they call chloroxygen, um, chlorophyll concentrate. And this stuff has been knocking me down, fam. Listen, my body has been cleaning itself out, right? So I've been laying down for like the last two days. So I want y'all to see how green it is. Oh. It's at 18 drops. So I've been going over 18 drops. So I'm not going to go over 18 drops today. Um, What, you want to try that too? Yeah, me too. All right. Me too. Okay. I'll just give you a little bit. I'll give you a little bit. All right, hold on. I'm going to take a little bit more out. Oh. See, now, now gonna be, drink it? Hold on, hold, hold, hold on. Let me, let me do this, please. You gotta mix it. Oh. Oh. That's that's the coolest thing I ever seen. Is that food coloring? Now, no, it's not. It's not food coloring. Now, for those that don't know, if you look at the pretty green, right? That's look at my light. That's chlorophyll. I ain't got theirs as green as mine. All right, so now, my daughter's just going to be sitting on the toilet for a little while. But toilet? what this does is it it helps your body form red blood cells, which take in more air since we've been talking about meditating, since we've been talking about doing breathing exercises. <laughs> Smell it's real it, good Gina. for you. Y'all ready? It smells like dogs. Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Take Let's take it out. Let's drink no, this is good. It actually tastes like water. Yeah, it does. Yeah, because I watered it. It's a little bit stale. It's a kind of a, a pasty. It tastes uh, like medicine. Uh, yeah, it, like um, like that that <laughs> chalk that's in um, Pepto Bismol. It kind of have that kind of. If you it's ever like, had Pepto Bismol, the little chalky yeah. taste that goes behind it, it's like that. It's it's not green no more. Go and finish it so we get to our toast. The aftertaste, it tastes like, oh, that. Yeah, I mean, that's what it's supposed to taste like. But you got to give them, when you describe and taste to them, you got to Daddy, kinda, listen to me. You this, gotta, this stuff tastes like medicine. Dog medicine. Dog medicine? Yes. How do you know what dog medicine tastes like? Because it tastes like it. Mmm. Tastes like dog medicine. Mm. All right. Come on, finish some we guns. All right, while, while we waiting for them. Well, I told Gina I let her do this commercial. But I'm just going to share. And, well, go ahead and finish, Gina, so you're going to do your commer do the commercial real quick. Gina G show will be airing today on Kaumba at 11 a.m. Uh-oh. If it, if it tastes, why don't you finish it? See, in order to get them to be able to take healthy stuff, I got to put them on camera. So thank you, Facebook and YouTube. Y'all may be helping me get my children towards towards health. All right, so go ahead. You done? A little bit more. Come on. Come on. All right. All right, so now you want, you want to read this to them and tell them about it? Yeah. So this is Sarah Brother and Alright look you gotta make sure they can see you on and it's YouTube. It's for body and hair. Alright, can you tell them what's in it? Can you read some of the ingredients? Oh here? Yeah. Now you did it before. Don't flower? No, there go read this read what it says. 
Give me that. Can I tell the mom about it? Alright, so now this is Al Malika Hair and Body Butter. Um, it's made from shea butter, coconut oil, um, Jamaican black castor oil, tea tree oil, moringa oil, black seed oil, sandalwood oil, and eucalyptus oil. It's a real smooth butter. I've been working with it for a day now. Um, I got some on now. It's real smooth. It's real soft. It melts in your hand. Um, it's a real good butter. It's produced by Aisha. Um, and her, for all those smooth. that are interested, her number is 937-705. Excuse me, excuse me. 7055558. I gotta go to um, the toilet. So, all right. <sighs> All right, so this is real good, and like I said, I'll do a report on it a little bit later. So, shouts out to Sister Aisha. I um, gave her some. I gave her some um, ambrosia. She gave me some of this, and this is what it's all about: um, us getting into doing stuff for ourselves, right? So, now on to the toast. So, today, we're going to be drinking the ginseng. You see, the ginseng root is just starting to be slowly, so, slowly, slowly consumed. Excuse me, ladies. Alright, so it's being slowly, slowly consumed. So, let's see where we are right now. Because, remember, I got another one downstairs. That I have not had not even sampled yet. So I'm just going to take that one and put the cap on. Hmm. I'm back, guys. Can you give me some more? No, you want some? You want some of this so we can toast or no? Yeah. Alright, this is ginseng. Ginseng. Mm hmm I just give you a little bit. Because we got a little bit of different taste. Alright. Here we go. First call it on the creator by whatever name you choose. Call that creator. We call that creator and we say. Is that mine? Y'all see? Patience. Who, who else is here, Gina? Me. Okay. So we call on creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We call that creator and we say. I say. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. We call on our grandmothers, our grandfathers. We call on our uncles and our aunts. We call on our cousins and our friends. All those people that went before us and made their transition. We toast them. We lift them up. And we. I'm going to say our, our family line, Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert and Tex, Anna Davis, Herman Brown, Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, William Walter, Christopher Fannigaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, um, John Fillard, Fanokes, Montague Pittman L., uh, Malika, Fakur, Malika Fakir, um, Jamon Jones, Elder Donaldson, Errol Harrison. Elder Harrison. We call on all of them. All of our ancestors that we can remember, all those that we don't quite remember right now, right? Can Dr. Marianne Williams. Yeah, we toast them and we say, I say. From there, we move on to the present moment. We are on the day of Kaumba, and in this moment is our power. We toast and we say, I say. From there, we move to our children, our children's children onto infinity. We toast them so that one day they may toast us and we say, I say. Right now we toast any of the issues that you may have, anything that you need your ancestors to move I on. I can see the scoping. We toast them and we say, I say. I say. I say. I say. Uh-uh, be careful, girl. That's my, that's, that's sorry, real sorry. crystal. 
That's real crystal there. Hold on, let me get Sasha some so she can drink with us. So good. That, that's enough, Daddy. Right. Really? That's Ooh, how Slow we're down, going. slow down, slow down, slow down. I don't want that. Ashe. 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 I wish you peace, power, and joy in 100 years. Go on, drink up. Mm. Too strong for you? Is this no ginseng? It's just one in my nose. Oh, one in your nose, huh? That's ginseng. All right, this is raw ginseng. Your mom is on. Huh? My yeah. mom! Yeah. Wait, let me see if this right is there. Two. Let me see if this is two. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Victoria. I'm Uncle Sue. Sue. Alright, so, alright, Peace Facebook, we want to thank you, and we're going to move to our YouTube channel, alright, be sure to subscribe so that you can go further with us as we explore health, as we explore uh, culture, as we explore all of the tools to build what we need to build the life that we want, alright, we out. Say y'all, say peace, Facebook. Peace, Facebook, and make sure you watch my Creamy Week video. YouTube, YouTube. All right, YouTube fam, I'm back. So, I had to step away because I was thinking about um, what I wanted to present today. Um, but first, before we get into that, I want to share with you yes. what's going on with our strain of SCOBY. Yes. So I wanted to show it to you. Hold on. Alright, so I had to go get a pop. But uh right, so that I can show you. It is the day of Kuumba and I want you to see what our combined creativity has been able to come up with. Because I am honestly, how can I put it? My my personal life has taught me that Everything happens for a reason. So I wanted to pour this out. I want to see if I could pull up the scoby that came about because of our creativity. It's still yeah, kind of weak. So. I thought it was a little bit stronger. So I'm not really going to be able to. Well, I could pull up a piece of it. A little bit different. See it? So, I'm still working with it. Seeing if we could get, I want to get a firm piece. Right? So, I could take a small piece of this, I could put it and watch it grow. We're going to see, we're going to see if we got a strand. I'm pretty sure we got a strand. I'm not 100% sure, so I will still continue working with it. Now, this, this stuff is incredible, right? It's like a Voltron. So, I could take it and I could put it in a jar. I could shake it up and break it up into a whole bunch of little different pieces. And it's still... Can you give me a paper towel, please, sir? There's some in the bathroom. And, and it will still come back together, right? So... I break it up every time, once a week, so that we can see what's going on. But I'm going to eventually be able to reach in here and pull out a whole, whole, whole healthy scoby. Thank you, sir. I need two pieces. Oh, cool. All right, so now what did I want to hit with y'all today? Yeah. Um, I wanted to look at some of the latest music out, right? Because music is an important part of culture, right? We had an um, uh, uh, end of the school year talent show. And the kids, we had an end of the year talent show at the school. Let me 
to get the pot up out the way. We had an end of the year talent show at the school. My daughter didn't finish her ginseng. Cliff, you want to try this ginseng? Yeah. My um, our kids had an end of the year uh, talent show, and a lot of the music we couldn't allow, cause a lot of the music you don't know, too strong for you. No. Um, and the music that they they like, we really can't allow them to do at school. So it's like, now, if music is part of the culture, but the music the children like, is it too strong for you? Tell them, tell them if you like the ginseng or not. This is from the ginseng. I liked it, but it's strong. Oh, okay. It's going to bring the man out of him. Not only will he go, because they're trying to get this tablet right now, so they go um, Pokemon hunting, right? So now he's going to wrestle down the Pokemon. He's going to be fighting the Pokemon. Yeah, um... He put that back on the counter. So, we had the talent show. And the music that a lot of the kids wanted to listen to or perform or dance to, they couldn't do. Because the music didn't align with what we were doing in school. So, they was listening to a lot of music. The music that drives the younger generation, we can't really allow them to listen to. Not at least on school property. Now... So we know part of the issue is that when you ride home with your kids, if you try to, you know, I, lo I love hip hop, right? You know what I'm saying? I love hip hop, right? And um, I can't really listen to a lot of the hip hop that I listen to with my kids. I can't really, I can't do that, right? Um, because the messages on there is, are not necessarily messages that I want my kids to, to cling to. I want my kids to get old enough so that they can make the decision on whether or not they're going to listen to it. I want them to have their own perspective of the world, you know. So I'm listening to a lot of, I listen to a lot of NPR. You know, I was doing it before my kids was born. And I'm listening to a lot of NPR now because I like the news and stuff like that. But the issue that I'm having is that we have these um, radio, we have these radio uh, formats that claim to be hip hop, right? And I know all hip hop is not family friendly, but you can't tell me there are no hip hop artists that all generations could listen to. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't even mind some of the cussing, but some of the messages, like all I want is a rolly, and you know, I want to slap your ass, and you know what I'm saying? Culturally. We have to ask the question, is this truly a reflection of the culture? Because hip-hop is a culture. Hip-hop is, is a branch of culture, right? And the, 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 the issue that I'm having is, why is all the music that's coming from a genre that helped form the way that I think helped me grow up? Why is most of it, or a lot of it that is for public consumption, not something I can share with my children? Do you understand? Do you see the problem there? Because there is um, there's something awry there. Now, we know what it is, right? The fact that we have this element of business, this element of American culture that's totally about consumerism, and it's just eating up everything and churning out something to get people to become consumers, right? And I'm not trying to really expose my children to all of that. Not just my personal, the ones that you see with me on these videos, but any of the ones around me, right? Because the whole piece is we want our children to be, it's, it's, a, certain, it's a certain way that we got to get our children to be. We got to mold our children into Right, we can't have we can't have our child's highest aspiration being about only wanting a rolling. Right? We need children that are focused on discovery. We need children um, to be focused on creating. We need children to be focused on business. We need children to be focused on healing. Right? You know what I'm saying? Because this is the generation that 
because the music, how can I put it? The culture provides the the the, the operating system in which an individual can move through life, right? It helps with that. It helps empower that. So if the children and ourselves are constantly exposed to just consumerism ideas, what type of human beings are being developed, right? You know, how do you consume? Uh, um, one of the Proverbs say you cannot feast and become wealthy, right? We need to develop wealth as a people, right? As a tribe. We need to be focused on building wealth. And one of the major things that 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 is being shot at us is a piece of a culture that we created that's being shot back to us, being shot back at us as totally consumer based. You can't consume your way to freedom. You can't consume your way to happiness. You can't consume your way to self-discovery. Right? There has to be some creation in that. Okay? Now, and that's what I'm trying to get my children exposed to. Right? So the thought for me the thought for the day for me, would you come back to join me, Gina? Or you here, wait, I'm done. I'm done with the tablet. Y'all be safe if yes, y'all going outside. You know what I'm saying? Um I just hurt my leg. Oh, okay. What'd you do? Nothing. Here, can you put this in the sink for me? Yeah. Are you that hurt? Can you put that in the sink? I'm gonna start getting y'all lunch ready. Alright, um Daddy mo, y'all. Alright, so I'm gonna take my stuff for the day. You already saw me take the chloro oxygen. I'm gonna finish up on this. Alright. Also, support local business people. Okay? This sister, she she's producing this body butter. I'm gonna purchase this. I'm gonna use this up. I'm gonna buy me another one. I'm gonna ask her. I'm gonna say, hey, can you mix me something with some uh Frankincense, man, I love some. I love frankincense, right? Um, but hey, now, so we have to be really concerned about the culture, right? Because we are not only participants within the cultures, we have to become creators. See, when culture gets stuck, right, and under a certain group's control, this is when culture goes wrong. This is when culture becomes stagnant. Culture is like um, a, 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 a stream, you know what I'm saying? And it flows, and it flows with the people, and it flows for the people. And long as the water is moving, the water more than likely is going to be fresh for us to drink. But soon as we start putting barriers up and stop it from flowing, what happens is it becomes stagnant. And we know what happens in stagnant water. In stagnant water, all types of germs and unhealthy bacteria and unhealthy the un the the opposite of what's in that ambrosia starts to form right and it starts to poison the people and it starts to poison the community right to where now all I want is a roly 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 right rather than all I want is freedom freedom or death you know um uh you know so we we got to monitor this and we got to be careful with these stations that claim they are from the community and for the community and we got to start challenging them on their format right see because it's cool for us to rally against all this shit outside of our community and all this shit come but we have individuals that say they represent us we are a hip hop station you know what i'm saying hip hop right or are you rap just rap just con consumer based rap you know what i'm saying and we need to be able to defend our children's ears defend our ears you know what i'm saying i don't like i said i don't mind the cussing but can you put on some at least the mother at least a, somebody like i cuss at least a motherfucker that is that is conscious based cussing you know what i'm saying it ain't all just about sex. It ain't all just about the latest cars. It ain't all just about, you know what I'm saying, some of the foolishness that's going on in these streets. We can hear a little bit of that, but can we get a balance? 
We have to start demanding a balance from ourselves. And we have to start being able to defend our culture on all five levels. Intuitionally, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. We got to be able to protect that, protect that culture. And we have to be able to call people out. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you're, not, you're not for us. You know what I'm saying? If, if all you plan is stuff to motivate my kids to go out here and do something stupid. If you playing stuff that don't do that 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 you can't have families listen to, you know what I'm saying? What happened to late night radio for adults after kids are asleep? Kids go to sleep around nine o'clock, even if they don't want to. A lot of them going to sleep about nine o'clock. After nine o'clock, what's wrong with you being able to play all of the all of the insanity that you want? But before nine p.m., the question is, and like even at the times when kids are supposed to be in school. When kids like from from like from like nine thirty to about three thirty have at it, right? But these times when we know kids may be participating in the listening, not just kids, but minds that are easily influenced, right? Why not play something that will uplift and move our community to where it wants to be? You know what I'm saying? Think about it. Music. From the beginning of our, our our time here in America has been used to motivate and to keep us moving forward. Even the hymns that we used to sing when we was out on those plantations, right, working, were songs about freedom, were songs to keep us motivated and keep us moving when times got hard, right? Now... What they done took something that was powerful and then turned it into something that's creating a generation possibly of uselessness. Uselessness. And we can't allow this, family. We we have to we have to stand up and we have to we have to speak against this. Right? We have to say something against this. We gotta start turning it off. We got to let them know we're gonna turn this shit off. If you can't Meet us halfway. Because I understand, man. Listen, I loved Ice-T, right? And a lot of y'all too young didn't even know who Ice-T was. You know what I'm saying? I loved Ice-T, right? I even liked listening to N.W.A. You know what I'm saying? But it was certain times I was able to do that, right? And I'm just saying, what happened to that? Why we can't go back to that? You know what I'm saying? We need to protect the ears of our kids. We need to protect the ears of the culture. We need, I mean, we got pregnant women riding around listening to this shit. Right? And a lot of y'all are like, what does that, what difference does that make? Well, I mean, like, in certain African, in certain African tra traditions, women had to be careful about what they was listening to when they was giving birth. When they was carrying the future. Right? You know, because they say all of the words will go into the womb and infect the child. That's why, you know, it was like in some in some instances, they even separated the, the, the father and the mother for a while because they know the tensions will build up. Right. So that the man be able to go out and do what he need to do and not not mess up this woman because he got an attitude. Right. You know. So, hey, this is Brother Hot Tim saying, man, peace. Thank y'all. Hey, so look down below for those that want to support. Down below. That want to support GME Journey, right? You know what I'm saying? You want you want to support G&J, you go to the um, 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 gum roll. Go to gum.co forward slash that ambrosia, right? When you click that ambrosia and you... Support G G and J that way through that embrosure, right? I support you. The only thing I'm asking is if you live outside the city, you will have to pay for shipping and handling. That's it. Other than that, we cool. Those that want to take the Ngusa Saba Challenge, it's still going on. It'll be going on forever. And with the Ngusa Saba Challenge, you get a discount, right? So that means that for every two dollars and fifty cent that you give to us. That's a bottle of that ambrosia. I'm just saying. 
know what I'm saying? For those other folks, for those other folks, for every three to five. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so it's best to just sign up for that and go to Cyber Challenge. So, this is Brother I Tim. I am out. And I'm going to take my stuff. So, with that, peace. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there. The fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you. Right there. And for those that want more information about Jammy Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.